Uh, sorry for the moment for my English is not very good uh, but I don't speak for, I don't speak French so <laughs> <laughs> you're better than I am <laughs> one now uh, it's one years in my team and uh, one years ago I speak nothing in English really wow yeah no, zero zero just uh, hello my name is Luca oh, no yeah. way yeah. Dude, <laughs> you are crushing it because j'apprends la français pour mon voyage in May uh but that's all I know. I don't. I learn a very yeah, little bit. Yeah. Um, but if you are motivated, you progress very fast. And uh, if you have a rider, uh, mm. you speak just English. Uh, you d- exactly. <laughs> just one possibility for for I, I, for speak with uh, your teammate or in the race in the rider. Uh, <laughs> would you? <laughs> I tried to learn with like Duolingo or an app on the phone, but the thing, I just need someone to talk to. No, you, yeah. I, I, I want to start with uh, Duolingo. Okay. Uh, I buy also the premium uh, the premium in Duolingo. Okay. Duolingo, he don't help me. Yeah. Uh, the, the radio in the, in the race, he, he helped me. The teammate, uh, he, he helped me. The, mm-hmm. in the room or in the hotel or in the restaurant mm-hmm. yeah for the moment it's very hard because you get up in the morning you need to speak english and uh you sleep you need to speak english for the moment for in the day yeah it's very hard but now i progress i'm happy it's I, awesome i understand normally uh, my teammate understand me is not a problem <laughs> That's awesome, man. I hope to get to where you are with English in another language at some point in time, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, excited about talk about some cycling training. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Or it, actually, it's late for you. Did you have a long ride today? No, no, ju- just uh, three hours. And uh, because uh, I crashed in my um, last uh, race. And uh, oh, no. I need a uh, little recovery <laughs> now. Oh man, sorry to hear that. No, it's not uh, important, but uh, I I have uh, hematom in my legs and uh, for the blood and uh, for the water, uh, my legs is not uh, he, he she don't uh, working very good. Oh no! How long do you think the recovery time will be till you're back to full strength? I don't know. For for the moment, one week, and after we will see with the physio. Okay, fingers crossed. This, uh, for you. Yeah, thank you. This afternoon I have a physio, and um, normal for him. Normally next week. Okay. It's okay. Cool. Well, I send. Uh, we'll kind of just go through the questions and uh, feel free to go off on tangents wherever you want to go. Really, the whole point of the podcast is just to talk to as many athletes, especially people at your level of what you're doing for training, your preferences, feel free to go on tangents, wherever it might take you. Um, And really appreciate you taking the time to do this. This is so beneficial to so many other cyclists that tune in. So thank you in advance. This is awesome. Okay, no problem. Uh, James, he told me, yeah, just uh, you send me the message. And uh, I have uh, same room with uh, James. Oh, hey, James! <laughs> <laughs> so, for, so I usually just kind of roll the podcast as we start. So, for people listening, um, Lucas is on James Piccoli's team, who we interviewed, I think, last year, and he had a lot of great, really insightful thoughts. So, James is a great guy. I haven't met him in person to chat we actually raced against each other a long time ago before he was at the level he's at now and just seemed like a really great guy from the podcast one question that people always are curious about volume versus intensity how do you balance that in your training uh it's depend of the moment for me i work with a block and uh four five blocks block uh with the f- five days okay. we start with the uh, endurance and after i finish with the interval okay and um also example uh, before the race you need the uh, interval also 
Any specific types of intervals that you like to do when you're when you say intervals, or does it depend on something? Yeah, it's different. On like the race coming up, or just how you feel, or and the, also the race. It depends on the race because uh, if you have a flat uh, race, it's different. Because for me, I'm not climber, but uh, I like uh, up and down stage, mm -hmm. and uh, I work. Uh, not the same for flat uh, race and uh, climbing uh, race. And so, what would be the difference in those two? For walking the flat uh, stage and the climbing uh, st stage, example. Yeah, like yeah, like if say you're going into a flat stage, what would you do going into that? As opposed to say you're going into a climbing stage, what would you do to train for that? Uh. For for the climbing stage, I need a um, long interval, like uh, ten minutes or twenty minutes, uh, with um, zone four or f big zone four. Yeah. And for the flat uh, stage, I need uh, just to work a little short time for um, for put my sprinter in very good position. Uh. It's not the same effort because. Um, mm. Is more is is more short the with the, f the flat stage and the, for the climbing stage is more long. Mm. I need a, a little more longer interval for the longer uh, for, for the climbing stage and the, for the flat stage the training is little more small for interval. Okay. Would you said like a 10 minute, maybe 15, 20 minute interval. Do you do a few of those? And do you ever do anything longer than 20 minutes? It's been interesting to hear like the duration that athletes tend to. Lead yeah, into. yeah, it's possible. But for my, for me, um, the climb with more 20 minutes is a little bit difficult. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for the moment, uh, I work a little more, but uh, with the interval like uh, one minute uh, zone five, and uh, after four minutes uh, uh, zone three or four, and uh, one minute very high intensity. So over unders. Yeah. For ah, okay. <laughs> Do you ever climb or train at like steady power, like zone four, and just pin it? Or do you mm -hmm. always, do, yeah? Yeah. Do you work with a coach or do you do everything on your own? No, I, I have a coach. Okay. Uh, I start with him at uh, now for four years. Okay, awesome. Is he... Um, I start with him because uh, it's a trainer with uh, Indelco in my first team. Okay, in Marseille, and, uh, correct? Yeah. Yeah. For, and after I I continue with him because uh, he know me uh, it's very important. If you change a trainer, you need to take a time for for the trainer for the for me for for the for understand all because uh, our rider is different and uh, he work different. Mm -hmm. We don't Do you, have the same body. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And you respond to training differently than the other person. And yeah, it's a really good example of why that relationship is so important. Does he and have... The, you... In my life, I have just... Uh, in now, uh, 12 years, uh, I practice uh, bike. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have just a true trainer. Oh, wow. In 12 years but uh cool for, for me is is good <laughs> because yeah. it change all the years all the time you need one years for understand uh the training and uh, for the trainer he need the time for understand and the very important uh you stay with uh, your trainer mm -hmm. a long time if you possible <laughs> Does your trainer use mostly power or heart rate or both or and maybe uh, perceived exertion at all? Or how does he tell you how to go do the workouts? It depends, but uh, we use uh, 
more power. More power. Yeah. It, and it, it, it depends on the time. Hey, example, in altitude, uh, your power go down. It's not, it's not very good information. You need to adapt because in altitude uh, we have less oxygen and uh, the training mm -hmm. is uh, different. Mm -hmm. You talking about altitude? Yeah, yeah. I go yeah. normally. I two times for one years. Okay. Which two times three weeks. Okay. For you stay for three weeks and then come back. Yeah, one time three weeks, and after one more time three weeks. Where do you do you go to the same place? Yeah, I go in Andorra. Oh, okay, awesome. What do you think is the best advice you've ever received? You for progress, you need to stay. You need the time and uh, stay by step. You need to understand also your body. It's good. F you have a trainer. Example for me. Uh, now I have a crash. I don't feel very good. But uh, I understand my body. And uh, me, I call my trainer. Now I'm, done. I'm not ready for our training. Him mm -hmm. after adapt. Because he, he don't have uh, information. He put the training for interval or our training. But now I'm done ready for this training. Mm -hmm. We need to take a time after the crash and... Uh, for take very good recovery. And when, when the moment is good, your body is ready, now you go. Mm, yeah, it's super important. After hard workouts, making sure you recover before the next workout or the next race, is that what you were saying? The good recovery, you you go in physio, it's a good sleeping and uh, mm. the food is also very important for the recovery because the the food is uh, fuel for for using energy after doing uh, effort. What are your favorite workouts to do? Like long rides? Do you like the over unders? What do you like as the most? Ah, uh, I I like a long ride. But how long is long for you? Uh, six. Seven, okay. Five, maximum seven. More than seven. All the time is not very good, but uh, I like uh, five, six hours is perfect for me. What do you do for nutrition, for food on those really long rides? Uh, yeah. Just in endurance or in interval? Or the... Let's do both. Say a long and endurance ride. What would you bring? Long endurance ride, uh, just a little fat or rice cake or bar. Is very okay. good because uh, you need the uh, quantity in the in the body, and the le your body uses less sugar. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, you stop in coffee, is possible. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, just uh, this and uh, minimum uh, one bottle for one hour for drink or so it's very important just and water water or iso or electrolyte also in summer because we for the start is very important mm -hmm. the difference nutrition in uh, endurance and after the small uh, training with interval is the sugar you you need to just add uh, sugar because uh, sugar it's uh, energy for go fast. Do you use just sugar, or do you use like a product, or like gummies, or gels, or when you say sugar, yeah. gel, gel sh sugar is gel or gummy. Okay, or gummy. Okay, yeah. Do you foam roll or stretch? Yeah, also yeah. Yeah. Any yoga? Uh, no yoga, but uh, I need to put um, re relaxed music and uh, I sleep. Uh, I sleep or just uh, for relaxed time mm. I, because 
in the race is a lot of stress also for for the head mm. and uh, you need uh, time for relax and uh, yeah for for the head is very important the stress in the race is it the stress of being in the bunch is it just the is it non-stop is there any specific points in the race that are more stressful than others yeah it's more in the bunch the, the stress it's uh it, very important in the final but uh, you need also be concerned concern, focus in the uh, middle of the race and all the time because uh for the crash, for all, because the crash are very fast. Because uh, if you take, uh, I don't know, in the road, if you have a problem in the road, it's uh, all is possible. Mm -hmm. You need uh, all the time uh, your eyes in the road and the wheels, and uh, for the it depends of the race, but uh, for the moment you have. Uh, to add more more tired than legs mm, that's so <laughs> interesting yeah there's just so much going on that you're trying to yeah. keep tabs on everything yeah, i can only imagine because as an amateur our races are slower and less people and when i watch you guys it's just i'm trying to put my head in that and it just looks like <laughs> chaos at times so. Yeah, example, you have a five hour in the race and uh, the first hour you go very fast for breakaway, mm. one hour or two hours and um, after during uh, one more two hour, you need to be concentrate for the head is very hard because the bench no go very fast and uh, you have a friend in the bench and the uh, other team you need you want to to speak or to have you have a question for the other rider for the friends and uh, it's difficult you need uh, all the time concentrate and uh, after the last uh, hour you go very very fast and at this moment it's a focus for the finish line for the mm -hmm. sprint or for last climb mm -hmm. Do you use caffeine at all? Because some will say like caffeine gels try to sharpen yeah. their... No, or the rice, no, or the, or the day. <laughs> but uh, I use uh, I use uh, for the rice in the okay. gel caffeine. Okay. Uh, it, it's good. It's good for get up for the moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, not a lot. Because uh, after you take uh, shit uh, legs, <laughs> <laughs> really? So you feel like it gives you bad legs after? Uh, f for me, yeah, but yeah, uh, it depends on the rider. But normally, if you take more than four hundred or three hundred uh, milligram, mm -hmm. it's possible uh, you broke a motor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah, that's definitely a lot. Which races are you looking forward to the most this year? I I want uh, my best condition in uh, in uh, China because uh, it's a country of my team, mm -hmm. and uh, for the Chinese also it's uh, very for the Chinese rider also it's very good. What else do you think has helped you along? What's another skill for success? Also for progress, you need the time, and uh, it's very important uh, step by step. One rider is one book, and uh, we have uh, not the same book. Like uh, you have your story, I have my mm -hmm. story, and all rider he have your story. Example: You have a rider sign your first contract professional at twenty years, and uh, it's possible twenty two or eighteen. All rider is different. It's uh, your story. You need uh, your book, your story, and the uh, other writer. It's other writer. I love that. I love that. 
That's, I mean, it's, especially nowadays with social media and everybody sees everybody else, you have this, yeah. oh, I'm not doing this or I'm not doing this. And sometimes it's hard to stay focused on your own story. Because uh, before the, the road bike, I practice a mountain bike. I had changed at 20 years. I go in a road bike. And uh, I have uh, one bike shop in my city with my mother and um the mechanic the mechanico the mechanic in the bike shop he tell me eh, you have a possibility to sign in the road uh your contract because it's your story it's not you you don't see other rider and me i tell him eh, normally the rider sign your first contract now and now I start a road bike. No, it's your story. You need to work for you. No, you see other rider. Ah, okay. Yeah. And, uh, he, I don't see other rider. And uh, I made my story. And uh, I seen my first contract at 23 years. And uh, it's my story. And uh, now I go after in the four years in Delco in Pro Continental. Now it's my second year in my team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am happy and uh, it, all right, uh, he have your story and uh, all is possible for ev everyone. That's awesome. I love that. That is a, an <laughs> amazing piece of advice for we have a lot of younger cyclists that listen. So it that's really inspiring because it's endurance sports. They're so hard to yeah. win. It's so hard to stay on the right path with it and you know, be consistent. And as you said, you have to be patient. And sometimes it's hard to be patient when you see somebody else winning and you want to be there right now. And it's just not your time. And you just need to stay. Yeah. Day yeah. Day working because on it's long guys in cycling is very long, man. This was awesome. Lucas, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. This was great. Tell, uh, do me a favor. Tell James, I said, hello. And when we post this, we'll tag you on Instagram and okay. Good luck with your races this year. Look forward to some big results and hopefully you heal up quickly. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Yes. See you next time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>